Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is Keith and you're watching Commander Hoop Celtic. If this is your first time viewing my channel, if you could press that red and white button below, it'll help the channel grow. Even a thumbs up in the video will be really smashing. Now look, before we get into the video chatting about Alisa Johnson, my thoughts and prayers are with Pele and his family at this difficult time. The 83-year-old World Cup legend, one of the greatest Brazilian footballers of all time, one of the greatest of all time, is in hospital fighting for his life against cancer. And I know that feeling because my grandmother is in a hospice fighting for her life against cancer. She was diagnosed with cancer in July and that's the reason why, folks, I'm not consistent. I'm not at the game from Usia where I'm chatting about feeling hungry about Celtic, feeling hungry about everything. But I appreciate the support from you as well. So thoughts and prayers are with Pele at the moment and his, his grandchildren, his daughter and the whole family. Full stop. I know he's in Sao Paulo fighting for his life. So let's talk about Alistair Johnston. Good bit of business today for Celtic. Finally, this guy is over the line. I've been talking about him for the last two weeks on the channel. 24 years of age, right back. He's going to be an absolute key for Celtic. And we're going to talk about what he can bring to the team. Very physical player. Seen a bit of him during the World Cup against Croatia. Against the likes of, obviously... Croatia, Belgium, you know, Morocco. Tough World Cup group it was for him. But his interview today with Celtic TV sold it to me. First of all, he said that Anz sold him Celtic. He's saying this is probably a match made in heaven because he is a family from Northern Ireland, from Scotland, you know, even, even in the Canadian training facilities and during the World Cup, the banter he was getting about being linked to Celtic and a big part of this move is down to Celtic legend. He legend in my eyes because he scored that night against Barcelona. Victor Wanyama, agent Victor. Victor played with Alistair Johnston at Montreal last season. Wanyama was the captain for Montreal and he was saying a couple of months ago, imagine being linked with a club like Celtic. Celtic Football Club is the biggest club I played for. I played for Southampton, I played for Sports, but Celtic the fans still see me and he still greet me for my memorable moments in the Celtic short. And that's what Wanyama done. Delivered a double. Delivered a couple of titles as well in there. And for him to basically just sell the Celtic till the brand to Alistair Johnson. You could see in his face today when he done the interview that he's just dying to get over. He's a week off now. Moved to Glasgow. The fee was reportedly three million. He's gonna wear the number two short. Very physical player, loves getting up the wings. He's more of a ring he's more of a wing back. He's used to to that system where you know they play three five two, but Celtic obviously go four three three, so it will be an adapting system for him. He did play with Canada as well, that four three three system. So we're looking forward to having him over. Um he's obviously saying that his family have been planning meals already, thinking of relocating over there, his mum and dad. Big football fans as well. So what can you say? Josef Janovic, I don't know what's going to go on with him. There's talks of obviously West Ham are sniffing around. Fees of 15 million. Perhaps going up to 20 with add-ons. 27 years of age. Still in contract until May 26. Yakamakis, we discussed him on the channel recently as well. So it's all developing. You know, it's all talk. But actions speak louder than words. That's, you know, we have Kurobashi now. In the building, we've seen the clips of him yesterday in, in Glasgow, up at the training facility, and now we have young Johnson. And you know what? I can see Mikey Johnson coming back as well in the next month. You know, we'll have Alistair and we'll have also Mikey on the ranks as well. But you know, it's a good thing, it's a good thing for Canadian sport as well to see one of their own coming over representing a massive club like Glasgow Celtic. As he said, his, his vision is win this league. He likes the thoughts of being under pressure and playing for a massive club, one of the biggest clubs in the world, Glasgow Celtic. He's embracing the challenge and that's good to see. You know, as I said, on this channel, if we're going to bring someone in like this for three million and perhaps never know where this journey will take, could perhaps sell him for about three or four times the amount. It's a deal for Celtic. Look at Jovanovic, 2.7 million from Lego Warsaw and perhaps could be selling for 20 million. So it's a winner for us. 
You know, I know a lot of fans don't like the thoughts of these players going within a season or two. It's just the way football is going. It is, sadly, like these long-term deals is nothing to do with a, 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 a player committing themselves to a club for that long. It's to do with the agents. It's to do with the evaluation, what we could do. If that deal is three or four years, it means that it bumps up the price of us offloading these players. And exciting times, two players in and it's only December. How many players do you think Celtic are going to sign in this window coming? Let me know in the comments because I said last night three and I'm starting to feel maybe four. We've got the right back, we've got a centre back where we need to strengthen. And we have Anthony Ralston in that position as well. I said last night, you know, Anthony Ralston will be my preferred right back at the moment. But, you know, Alistair Johnston has to prove, you know, put, you know, talk in the pitch. Get them, get, get them games in and hopefully he will be playing for Celtic. It's been a long year though, folks, from because he has played MLS football. The MLS season is a long season and obviously finished back in October. So some people might say, you know, he hopefully doesn't have a, a tate born out. Hopefully. So speak to us all soon. God bless. Hell, hell. Got to watch the Argentina game.